what you should know about closing cost. Closing cost when you're buying a house. So it's not just down payment, but your closing cost. We'll talk about that in a minute. Hey there, this is KG. I'm a realtor with Fairfax Realtor in Greenbelt, where we have buyers to buy trading room and sellers to sell their houses and investors to invest in real estate. So if you're looking to buy, sell, move, invest in real estate in the DMV area, as we call it, or any part of the union, contact us below. We'll take care of you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get updates once we upload a new video. It's all about making you a homeowner. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to like the video, drop me a comment, or ask me a question. We drop video weekly to answer real estate questions. All right, so we're talking about what you need to know about closing costs. This is part of home buying, completely different from your down payment. So it's always good to see the totality of everything before you embark. That will allow you, help you to budget wisely. Closing costs are some of the fees that you cannot negotiate you know government wants part of your money and so that's where the closing cost comes in so it's always important to budget for this while most buyers consider how much they will put down on down payment if you're doing fha or conventional loan or va loan they will say you know say for down payment say for down payment but in addition to the down payment, you want to also save for your closing costs. So you are not surprised by the closing costs. A lot of buyers are surprised when you say, oh, your down payment, your down payment is 3.5, but your closing cost in addition is about, you know, so they're surprised. So to ensure you are not caught off guard when it's time to close on your house, you need to understand what closing costs are and how much you should budget for closing costs. So what are closing costs, right? Closing costs are those fees, fees, you know, fees and expenses that is part of buying a house. And you must pay these closing costs before you become a homeowner. Some of them is a must. You don't have any control over it. So before you sign on that dotted line to become the legal owner of a house, you must pay those closing costs along with the down payment. So some of the closing costs vary depending on the purchase price of the home and how you are financing it, right? So what are some of these costs? We have the government recording cost. In Maryland, D.C. and Virginia, we call it government recordation fee. So that includes the taxes, sale taxes, yeah, sale taxes on home, and recordation fee, depending on the county that you are in. The other fee is appraiser fees. Appraiser fee, even though you're many times you're going to pay it up front, but it's still money that you pay, part of the closing cost, appraiser fees. Credit report fees. So when a lender pull your credits, you have to pay for it. And many times you pay for it when you're ready to close. Lender origination fees. These are fees the lender charge you when you're buying a house. They will give you the itemized fees. Title service fee. Title company have to do some work and they charge for it. Tax service fees. These are fees for tax services. They put your tax record. Survey fees. Survey fees is... What it called survey fees to know how much your house is sitting on. Attorney's fee, depending on the location. Attorneys review the document, so they charge you for that. Underwriting fees, this is part of the loan fees. So the question is, how much do you need to budget for closing costs? How much do you need to budget for closing costs? Understanding this cost will help you, really. So how much do you need to budget? According to the estimate, it's always good to budget between 2%, which is on the low side, to 
5%, which is on the high side, of the loan amount. So what does it mean? So of the sales price. So if you're buying a house of 600000 in addition to your down payment, you need to budget between 2% to 5% of that 600000 as a closing cost. So in essence, if your down payment is 3%, your closing costs can run between 2% to 5%. It's always good to budget high so that you're not surprised at the end of the day. So that means you're looking at another 6 5% in addition to the uh, down payments. So many times, depending on the market that we're in, in a seller's market, where the seller are getting top money for their houses buyers have to pay their own closing costs legally buyer is responsible for paying their own closing costs but in the sellers markets where sellers are getting top money for their houses they are not willing to assist buyer in paying any of the closing costs but in the sellers in the buyers market where buyers are where buyers have the upper hand that means we have more houses than buyers they are open sellers are open to pay part of the closing cost but i don't want you to bank on it you need to make sure you actually budget for it so keep in mind that if you're in a market for a home the price range and the closing cost may be higher or lower depending on what is going on in the market. What is the best way to make sure you are prepared at closing time? You really need to work with a realtor and a lender to give you the estimate of what it means to buy a house, the down payment, as well as the closing costs. All right. So as you start on your home buying journey, take time to get a sense of all costs involved from down payment to closing costs, to appraisal fee, to home inspection. And you can do this by working with a team of trusted real estate professionals to guide you. So, this is what we do every day. Hope this helps you. All right. So this is KG with Fairfax Realty in Greenbelt. If you're looking to buy, sell, move, or invest in real estate, contact us below. We'll take care of you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get updates once we upload a new video. Bottom line, bottom line, it's always important to plan for these fees so that you're not surprised. Happy shopping for homes. Happy buying.